Hello everybody, Andrew Majewski here with Dental L. So it's actually 9.30 right now and I tend to go to bed early, <laughs> like 10.30, 11, but I'm already in my pajamas, hence why I'm not, you know, showing you guys what I, what I look like. I've taken off the makeup, I'm in my pajamas, you know, the whole works. But I, I had a meeting this evening um, talking about hygienists in Canada specifically here. So we're not talking about the US, we're talking about Canada. Um, talking about us earning commission from what we sell, meaning, so you've probably heard me talk about um, the whitening toothpaste, you've probably heard me talk about um, electric toothbrushes. If you're a, if, if you are an ambassador for the burst toothbrush company as an example um everything you sell if you sell a toothbrush with them if you sell they sell whitening strips they sell toothpaste um pretty much anything you can make a commission but with us being in canada we are not allowed to make a commission so the company has actually turned that off for us so we are still more than welcome to recommend it um, as with me personally, I love that toothbrush because it's at a much cheaper price point than any other electric toothbrush out there. And I like how it will send the patients a toothbrush head every three months. So they are actually changing their toothbrush. But I'm not talking about the company right now. I want to talk to you guys about earning commission. And I want to give you guys like a first hand talk about we're not allowed to earn commission because if you guys go to any of the dental hygiene forums on social media right you will hear all kinds of things you will see different people selling different things but you can still do all of that but you're not allowed to earn a commission it's very sad actually i think for us who live in canada because here we see all of these hygienists, let's just say in certain parts of the US where you are allowed to make a commission and then you see them, you know, posting about how much money they made, how they're, how they're able to go on, on trips and how they're able to do other things. Well, we can't do that. Even dentists, technically, um, there's a little bit of a fine line there, so I can't really talk about them too much because I'm not a dentist, but they can earn commission, but they cannot, you know, sell something for more than it's worth and make a profit off of that. But anyways, that's kind of another story for another day, but it's just very disheartening and it's just kind of nice to talk about it with all of you guys. I kind of wish I was live, but, um, I should actually probably do a live and just talk about this how we just have so many different rules. And what I said at this meeting was, how is it any different than let's say a Maxil company or a dental company of pretty much any kind coming to your office to do a lunch and learn? Well, they make a commission when they sell to us, right? Like dental um, um, reps make a commission when we, we obviously buy from them, so they're allowed to do that, but we're not allowed to recommend a toothbrush or a toothpaste that we do honestly feel is number one. Yes, we are making a commission from that, but even if we, we weren't, we would still be talking about it anyway, right? But we're not allowed to make commission. So make sure that if you are selling for the, or I, I shouldn't say selling because we're not making commission, but if you're talking about a product, where you have signed up to be the ambassador, the referral programmer, you know, um, turn off your commissions. You're not allowed to make any um, commission. And if you think about it, losing our license isn't worth making, let's just say $200 in commission a year. You know, yes, it's probably more than that, but is it worth it even making hypothetically $10,000? To me, no. Um, you know, we don't want to lose our license from it. And I get questions all the time 
of people asking me, oh, well, you're selling this and this and this. Are you making a, a commission? No, I'm not because I turn that off. But I, I don't know about you guys, but I live and breathe um, dental literally 24 seven. That when somebody, when a friend, a family member just has a tooth or teeth question, I just light up, right? Like I just love talking about teeth and dental. So me just talking about toothpaste and toothbrushes, that's what I love to do as silly as that probably just sounds at the moment, but um, I just love it. And it's very hard. And, and I'm sure you're all thinking the same thing. It's so hard for us because we want to be able to talk about it and patients listen to us, you know, and um, somebody at the meeting actually brought upon a good point. You know, how is it any different than when we get samples from Crest or Colgate or, you know, whoever with a $2 coupon? We are putting those samples or giving them to the patient. Um, how is that any different? Because anything we talk about to our patients, we recommend, well, you know, are are we making money from that Crest or Colgate sample of toothpaste? No, but we're still going to talk about it if we love that toothpaste. But again, we're not allowed to make money from anything. Even if you're like me and you guys have your own office. Um, like I've been a mobile hygienist since last year and I, you know, order um, like Sensodyne, um, I order all kinds of things, right? Because if I'm going to somebody's house and I'm telling them uh, Sensodyne is the best toothpaste for you, I'm not making any money when I tell them this, right? But to take it a step further is I do, I carry usually about five different Sensodynes like at a time so that if I'm telling a patient, well, you should, you know, you should try this. Um, if I say that, they'll go, oh, okay, well, can you make a note of that for me then? Because I'm going to have to go to the store to buy that now. Patients often won't take the time to look for something if they don't remember the name. So I like to have it with me so that I will actually sell that to them. But what I'm getting at is I cannot make any profit off of that Sensodyne. So I have to sell it to them at cost, which makes sense. But then again, I'm also thinking, well, if I'm taking the time to pick up the Sensodyne or, you know, order the Sensodyne, why can't I make an extra $2 per tube? Because they don't have to um, go to the store to pick it up. So they're happy. I'm happy. But no, I have to sell it to them at cost. Even I've heard a couple times patients say to me, oh, is that all Sensodyne is? Well, how come you're not selling it for, for more? Like you're nice enough to come to my house. You're selling me Sensodyne. Well, you should really sell it up for a little bit more to make a profit. <laughs> and I'm saying to them, well, we're actually not allowed to do that. So lucky you is you don't have to pay more, right? Um, but anyways, I, I, I guess I'm just kind of rambling on because it's very hard for me to be so passionate and to want to recommend things to my patients and I do all the time um, but then I'm still getting like messages all the time about oh oh you have to be careful because you're making it sound like you're making a commission but I'm not and I wanted to talk to all of you guys too to just let you know that if you are selling for any of these companies be careful um, make sure to turn off the fact that you can make a commission and the best way to do that is is to not sign up for like a payment um what's the word a payment processor like you know how when you um sign up for these companies they ask you to enter in your bank details well don't don't even do that so you're you're still technically earning commission you know um but you won't actually get that if that makes sense so if you guys need help with knowing how to turn that off let me know and I can, I can help you with that. Um, if you have been earning commission, now is the time to go into your account profiles and just turn that off, you guys. Take out your bank info um, because you don't want your license taken away. So let me know, you guys, if you have any questions about that. Um, just a quick thing to talk about. So at this meeting, that I had like talking about commissions and you know all of that. 
there's no way around it. Like a lot of hygienists were saying things like, well, if I donate to charity, my commission, is that okay? Well, they say no, because anything that you can potentially make money from, you might not be, well, they say you're recommending that product only because you have a chance to make money. You might not actually believe in that product as you say you do. So does that make sense? So even if you give the money to charity, if you do anything, you can't. You cannot make any money from it. So even, you know, think of when you recommend Oral-B, Sonicare, well, that's okay because you're not making any money. I love this new um, Burst um, toothbrush because it's an electric toothbrush that is so much more affordable. And a hygienist made a good point. You know, she said, you know, I love to talk about Oral-B and Sonicare, but a price of an, of an electric toothbrush shouldn't be the price of my car payment. But with Burst, it's a lot less expensive. Um, I believe, um, and sorry guys, I have to double check the price again because I keep thinking in US dollars for a toothbrush. Um, if you use a promo code, so for a Burst um, toothbrush, um, you are only paying about $53 and that's um, taxes in. But it is a, a pretty awesome toothbrush. Like the charge lasts for four weeks. It is awesome. And how I see it from a, a hygienist perspective is, you know, patients will love it. They will use their toothbrush twice a day because it makes their teeth feel clean. They're happy, we're happy, but just make sure to turn off commissions and, and that you're not earning anything from that. Because if they try to buy a burst toothbrush and not use your, your um, promo code, I believe it would be like $89 or something like that, or it could even be more like $93. But if they use your promo code as a dental professional, they only have to pay like $53 for a toothbrush and they can sign up to get a toothbrush um, delivered to them um, every three months. And trust me, people love that, you guys. But for you to give them a promo code, you have to sign up to be a burst ambassador which implies you make a commission right so just don't sign up for making that commission and then you're perfectly fine but again um i can't say this enough please um comment if you guys have any questions i might have forgotten something i literally just ended the meeting with them like 20 minutes ago so i wanted to hop on right away well i, I still had it all pretty fresh in my in my mind um, I'm going to actually, I will post this now. So it should be lives or um, it should be on YouTube soon. Let me know if there's any questions um, and we'll go from there because I don't want anybody to lose your license over this. It's not worth it. Okay. So thank you guys so much for listening. I will probably do a live when I have some more time. Um, the board exam's coming up. So, you know, there's not a lot of time. Um, I've been tutoring 24 seven, but I promise to come on live hopefully in a couple weeks. If you guys would like to be a part of that, let me know. And then I can leave the link for you guys in the bottom of this email, or, um, uh, the video once I do have it. So thank you so much for listening and, um, everybody have a nice night. Just remember you cannot make commission off of anything. Yay. Lucky us, right? <laughs> this is only in, in, um, Canada. So I'm talking sp um, specifically for Canada. Thank you guys. Have a good night and I will talk to you all very, very soon.